everybody. You know, as much as I want to be full timing it right now, as much as Terry wants to be full -time it, timing it right now, there's just something awesome that feeling you get in your gut. That's down here, not up here. You know, when you're starting to get things ready for the big trip. Now, the big trip is still a month away for us. Um, but this you now not not even a month really close um but and that, look she's already picking out see my salad i was just saying how even though we're not full timing it yet it's just a really cool feeling when you're getting ready for it was hanging over there oh wow no 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 <laughs> When you're getting ready for the big trip, you know if we were full timing, we oh, wouldn't yeah. have we wouldn't have this feeling. Yeah, we would. We probably, would. We probably would. We we're It'd weird. Be different. We we never grow up. No. That's yeah. probably part of it. Well, yeah, we're getting ready to head to the lake for a weekend. This may or may not be our last lake trip before the big trip. I don't know. Kind of depends on how things fall. It um, may be our last trip. Before. I know. What's up with that? Oh, anyway, we're getting packed up for the weekend, but also kind of getting prepared for the big trip. Yeah. Uh, we're out of propane. Not out, out of propane. You know what I'm saying. We're out of propane, but we're not out of propane. So her job was to call flying j and see if they had propane okay and what i found out was actually they did a class and they are they certified a whole bunch of new people and she tried to find out if there's going to be somebody here after one to two so hurry um and she couldn't find out she said the best bet would be to get there by one but they do have propane and they have somebody from one to two but they did she said they certified a bunch of new people so that's good Okay, so maybe we'll get propane today. The propane's not really for this weekend because we may, we, we probably, well, the water heater uses propane. Um, I doubt we fire up the stove. I don't know. Well, no, probably not. I don't know. But we're not going to use any appreciable amount of propane, so we kind of need it for the big trip, for the water heater, mainly. I always appreciate my amount of propane. Me, you do. <laughs> so I guess it's time for me to fire this bad boy up put the slide out in and uh hook the jeep up and, that way and yeah go to flying j and fill up with gas and propane let's do this uh, no 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 press the park <laughs> <laughs>
here. Roman Nose State Park, Lake Watonga is way, way, way oh, down. that's a lake? <laughs> I thought that was it, Pond Watonga. It's not even Pond worthy uh, status at this moment. I mean, it Sticks is. Sticks are sticking up everywhere. Wow. You could probably walk across it. It's kind of like, you know, when there's a pothole in the road and, you know, there's water collected in it. Yeah. And maybe I'll dig up some old video of when there was water in it last time we were here. Yeah, I think there's cabins up that way. And. Honestly, Roman Nose is not a well-maintained state park. Now, I say that, and you may be thinking I'm insinuating that Oklahoma state parks are well-maintained. <laughs> I'm not. It's but getting better, maybe. Roman Nose is probably scraping the bottom of the Oklahoma barrel as far as maintenance. Now, as far as trails and things to do out here, I, I like it. I enjoy it. Hey, deer. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go to a trail that we didn't go to last time we were out here. If it's open. I'm hoping it's open, but we'll find out. But anyway, we were talking about getting ready for the big trip, you know. Some of the things that... I don't know about you guys for, who are not full-timers but who are just weekend warriors like us when it comes up to a big trip the closer it gets we start looking at expiration dates on food at the grocery store i'm sorry she doesn't think you're important enough to talk to hey i mean you are really important but there's horses so you know you gotta you gotta know your place <laughs> Now, you know, I say bad, poorly maintained, but look at this walking trail. I mean, that's Yeah, I went down that walk, and, and it's lit up at night. The little, it's got like solar things in the middle of it. I went for a run last night, and it's lit up in the middle. It's got little solar things all down. I mean, lit up well. It's, it's pretty cool. You know, we go to the grocery, as we get closer to the trip, we go to the grocery store, and we start looking at expiration dates on, on food items because we're stocking up. We're getting ready for the big trip and <laughs> kind of <laughs> spacing out our grocery purchases. So it's not all that week that we leave. Which really, uh, it's kind of silly if you think about it because um, this way. we get two weeks of groceries at a time and we're gonna be gone for two weeks. So, yeah. I mean, that's a, but it's just different for vacation. Yeah, it I is. Mean, a lot more snacks, some different things, different like different types of food, hydrating drinks and stuff like you know, that. We we try not to get meals that are going to take us two hours to prepare. Right. So, it, and then other little things, we always get something for the road trip that we've been wanting for a while, or something that came up last time we were on the road. Usually something for the camper. Like. A uh, roll up piddle pad holder holder thingy majig so that the dogs don't scratch at the piddle pad after they go on it and yuck. I'm sorry, I'm trying to drive and maneuver this camera and I'm probably doing a poor job at it. But it says shelter, yes, but there's a trail over here, mm. and we all need a little shelter. To get us by. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> but yeah, and I mean, what what else have we got for this trip? Well, I got we had we had to get the new refrigerator. We had no choice. Oh yeah. yeah so that we was got. <laughs> but the new refrigerator didn't come with drawers. It had the the bottom drawers, but it didn't have top drawers. So I got some drawers for the refrigerator. I got liners, which is just fun stuff. I mean, it just makes it exciting. Yeah. Um, little new canisters for the refrigerator. So the refrigerator got a lot of stuff. Yeah, oh, and a new, that cool little um, thing I got for my computer, the computer stand. Oh, yeah. Replace yeah. that big heavy thing. Yeah, she had a big monstrous heavy computer stand. Which is really cool. And here, here's, here's uh, a, uh, a pro tip. Not that we're pros by any means, but... <laughs> we've been we've, we've been doing this for a bit and we still make this mistake but however when you buy something for your 
for your camping trips for whether they're weekend trips or the big journeys you know if you find that you're not using it because it's too difficult to set up or get out quit bringing it yeah because you're not going to use it why 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 are you wasting the space which is what we did for a year with the stand that we bought for her because she does a lot of photo editing and she refuses to not do that while we're on the road i, so I enjoy it i don't get to do it as much at home so that's when she you're does supposed it to do all it. the time at home i'm just saying not as much all as the I time, want to. All the time. Nope. She can't do it anymore at home because there's not that many hours in the day. Did you see Ari? She was raising her paw like, I might have something to say here. She really was. I don't know if she was in the camera. It was cute. <laughs> but, so we bought this stand Are you sticking up for me? so that she could sit down on the couch and play on the computer. And it was just, it was cool. It wasn't fully functional. It seemed like if it was tilted at the right angle, the laptop would come off, and yeah. you know that's not something you really well, want. Well, and also, um, while well, traveling, we had to. It, it wouldn't. It would be in the way if we just put it in the middle of the floor. So it yeah. sat behind the bed, and this thing's heavy, and it's on wheels. Yeah. But you know, so we got it thinking, okay, we'll roll it out whenever we need it. We weren't rolling it out because no. that thing's heavy, and then you got to go put it up. Yeah. Especially for a weekend trip. Yeah. So she she wasn't using it, so. She dug around and found something else that is a lot lighter, a lot more portable. And the bonus is it sits, it sits in front of me while yeah. we're going down the road. Yeah, so she can she can play on her Facebook or whatever while we're going down the highway. Because for those of you with an actual RV, you know you've got that cool little tray, but if you put it if you put a laptop on it, it bounces all over the place. So this doesn't. So just little things getting ready for the big trip. We are here at Roman Nose, and this trail, I believe, goes to a couple of springs. So we're going to check this out. And it is spring, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> Why do I always get that look? <laughs> it was pretty funny. It, it was a little bit funny. funny. It wasn't pretty it funny. Wasn't it was funny. It was... Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to... I guess the dogs are coming with us. I didn't invite them. They kind of invited themselves. They invite themselves okay. everywhere we go. Put your hand up in the air again. There you go. Yeah, tell them. That's right. Good job. <laughs> back here says that you know no public access and you can tell right behind me here where people have been going back there anyway because you just you gotta know what's back there around that bend you can hear the water falling is there a waterfall back there you gotta know all I'm saying here is you're expecting normal people not to crawl over the fence to go see if there's a waterfall around that bend. Really? What planet were you born on when you decided that? You need, I mean, I say you. The park needs to build a trail, an established trail going up there so that people can satisfy that curiosity because they're going to anyway and they're going to tear up the landscape doing so because you didn't put a formal trail there. A little safe platform to view it. Yeah, something. A safe platform like she said or something, you know, just because you're not stopping people with the sign. Like, like, like Teresa said, and I should have said, it did stop us from going over there. But, I mean, and not to sound holier than thou or anything like that, that's just who we are. If there's a sign that says don't do it, we respect the sign. But 
Mainly because it would be really embarrassing if we got hurt and we're on the other side of that sign. Yeah, <laughs> you know, there is that. <laughs> So yeah, slightly windy today. The fortunate thing is down here on this trail, you don't feel the wind. You forget it's the wind is blowing. So you're in here amongst all the trees. It's actually nice. I mean, we she brought her jacket, thinking it was jacket. gonna, yeah, thinking it was gonna be chilly with the wind blowing, but we're not feeling it down here in the trees. Wow, this is gonna be fun going up it. Oh yeah, and we're just following a trail. We don't have a trail map. It might be a mountain lion trail for all we know. You know, maybe it's leading right straight to the bear's den. <laughs> it's okay, there's only black bears in these parts. Yeah, they only like berries and terries. <laughs> That's called Inspiration Point. Really? There's a trail that goes around the lake too that can get over there. Or you take the trail that we did last time we were here to get up to that point. There is a large network of trails, which is one of the things that I forgot to... Get ready for? Didn't bring, I forgot to bring or didn't get a chance to load up to bring, um, was our mountain bikes. Oh, that would have Because we could have, so we're coming back yeah but and okay i don't want to do it when it's really hot though this is what this okay fine we can whatever <laughs> fine we can what um so i was critical of the shape of this campground and this campground is in terrible condition it really is but it appears that they've sunk oh, all their money. I didn't even know we were recording. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yes. She's oblivious. Most, oblivious. most of the time she is oblivious. So wow. it, it appears that they've probably sunk a lot of their money into other things. Probably things that would help generate more income than just a simple little campground. Last time we were here, the uh, sewage connection did us no good because the sewer was stopped up. Yeah. Um, from throughout the campground, right? If yeah. I remember right, something was going on. And I mean, it's just old, outdated. I mean, some of it is has been upgraded, but it's just like it it, it needs some TLC out here. It's quaint. Though. I like this look. No, I, and, and a lot of people like this rustic. Yeah. I like it. Um, the only the only real negative this trip, anyway, is the water puddle. <laughs> yeah, nobody can come control that. No. If they could, um, like Mead would be. Although, I did see something interesting. The eastern red cedar that is an invasive species... Mm -hmm. Oh, there's people up on this inspiration yeah, point. I was just looking at that. I think they're up there making out. No, I don't think so. I think they are. <laughs> but the eastern red cedar, which is an invasive species here in Oklahoma. And it just goes, when flame hits it, it oh, just goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it almost explodes uh -huh. when a spark hits it. And it consumes a lot of water out of the ground which in turn starves out the native species hmm, around it 
and real interesting but anyway what about it though what were you going to say before? it's just it sucks all the water oh, out okay. of the ground we were say. talking about the lake being non-existent right now i you know this 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 place is only an hour and a half away from the house it's closer than lake murray um, and it's pretty. It is. It's not just a little pond. I mean, it's actually it's it's a different kind yeah. of a um, topography. I mean, yeah. it's it's rocky and kind of deserty. Yeah. We'll be back probably a few times this year. I'm starting to like it more and more. The more we explore, okay, it's got an 18 hole golf course. It's a short course, like a seven, par 70 course. Um, they have a lodge. They've got horse stables um the paved walking trail tons of trails i don't know as far as length i don't know but there's there's just a huge network of trails around these hills through here and mountain biking horseback riding and just general hiking um and when the lake is up there's fishing you could probably walk across the lake and drag a net and catch what fish are left in the... <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go see if we can just walk along that paved trail for a little bit. It's kind of chilly out with the wind blowing. Oh, no, no, the wind's still blowing. Yeah, the sun's starting to go down yeah. a little bit. So, so we'll go for a short walk because she says I'm fat. <laughs> money in that little trail there is we didn't even bring our pickaxes i know <laughs> but it seems like it was a good mile and a half hike or walk just the section that we did that's a lot of three quarters of a mile of concrete path with, with lights. lights in in it a lot of money spent there and it's nice it's very nice yeah so i take back what i said earlier <laughs> this is a nice state park it really is i'm enjoying our stay here this weekend yeah oh would probably okay. probably would have enjoyed it a little bit more if we'd brought the mountain bikes but i just kind of ran out of time by the time we got back from fetching the motorcycle and Honestly, I just, it slipped my mind when I got back. I think the dogs appreciate that we did not bring the mountain bikes. Yeah, well, they got to walk with us. Yep. <laughs> they, they don't really appreciate it when we lead them on a leash behind the bicycles. <laughs> Actually, we have a bike trailer, and we could have taken that bike trailer easily on that. Yes, you could have. No, I know I could have. I would have done it. <laughs> Anyway, we, we spent a lot of time this weekend other than just enjoying this state park. Um, getting stuff ready for the big trip. Exiling our cold weather gear because the cold weather is, for the most part, just Turn done with for a while. Right. And we could have done this at home, <laughs> but it's not as much fun to do this yeah. at home. Yeah, we could have done this at home, but... There's not a lake out the window. Yeah, we, it was relaxing, I don't know, it's not something more relaxing about doing it here than at home, I don't know. But that just goes to show that we can't stop working. Hold on, making a sharp turn. Turn right. Ugh. Nothing like making a sharp turn going downhill. Hey lady, is there anybody coming? Can I pull out in front of somebody? Go ahead, pull out in front of somebody. Okay. Hey, there's that off.
Yeah, we got a few more things to take care of. But, I mean, if we were to decide to point this thing in towards vacation, I'm pretty sure the only thing we'd have to do is stop and get food. Okay, I've decided. We're gonna, let's, let's do that. <laughs> let's test this theory anywhere. Yeah, well, I, I'd like to, but there's people that write me checks that would argue that. Well, I know this video has been kind of all over the place. But that's us. But that's who we are. We're kind of all over the place. Roman Nose State Park, worth the visit. Uh, the campsites themselves, a little rustic, a little dated, I guess you could say. Um, they have sunk a lot of money into other aspects of the state park. The hiking trails, biking trails, horseback riding trails awesome you got a golf course here if that's your thing so check it out it's wasn't real busy this weekend but it was kind of chilly anyway i think we better pull the plug on this before we go off on some other off the wall topic she's thinking about it she's trying to dream up something else to talk about catch y'all down the trail